The Pirate Lord receives some massive buffs that make it ridiculously strong. To start, its tier 4 upgrade Monkey Pirates got damage buffs across the board, making it much more useful during the mid-game and less reliant on its ability. This helped save up for the Pirate Lord, who took these buffs to the next level. His Grape Shot damage doubled, their Burn 9x, the Cannonballs over doubled in damage as well as getting extra mob damage, and the Frags 10 x while also getting extra mob damage. Pair this now great damage with how cheap of a tower it is, and you get a tier 5 Monkey that you can purchase in the mid-50s, but it can carry you all the way to the 90s with very little support. So this begs the question, what is the the best way to use him. Well, there are two great strategies so far, and they both involve Brickle, as she gives a passive pierce bonus to water monkeys, as well as making them attack twice as fast with her level 3 ability. The first way to effectively use the Pirate Lord is to beat the early game with a 202 submarine and Brickle. Then, I like to rush a 240 Buccaneer and turn our submarine into a 302 whenever we need the camo detection. Feel free to submerge and unsubmerge him whenever necessary. Luckily, all this is easily affordable by round 40, so there isn't much to worry about. Once we have a monkey pirate, feel free to buff him with a 300 alchemist and a jungle drums village. From here, you should easily be able to save up for the tier 5 upgrade around round 54. And boom, all of your damage concerns are gone for a very long time. Just upgrade that alchemist to a 420 and get your sub to a bluntonium reactor and watch as Brickle and the pirate lord dismantle the balloons. The great thing about the reactor is that it reduces the ability cooldowns of your water monkeys by 15%, meaning Brickle's naval tactics and the pirate's pull are on very short cooldowns. After the reactor, you can get whatever you want. I mean, there are posts on Reddit of people getting to round 95 with just a bit more support and $84,000 ready to spend. Now, I opted for a permabrew alchemist, but you could get just about any monkey south of 90 grand. The second strat is a bit more structured and fun in my opinion, but it starts very similar. We'll get a submarine and Brickle ASAP and follow it up with a buccaneer, but this time we'll make this boat a 320 for some cheap pop power, which goes especially hard with Brickle's extra pierce aura. Buff this destroyer with a village and an alchemist and watch it carry us all the way to upgrading our submarine to an energizer. We want to rush this energizer so Brickle will hit level 20 in the 90s, giving us super mega mines while also cutting cooldowns in half. After the energizer, we'll get a second buccaneer and upgrade it all the way to a 250 pirate lord and watch as its pull is only on a 15 second cooldown thanks to the energizer. From here, you can get whatever you want. Just make sure to be spamming pull and mines as that is what this strategy is built around. I like to upgrade the destroyer to a carrier flagship as that just adds on to all the water monkey buffs, but you should be safe with just about any monkey.